Thank you very much, Mo. Dr. Kao Kim Hoon, Secretary General of ASEAN, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you and a very warm welcome to this event and also to Singapore for those of you who have just come in from overseas. The ISIS Yusuf Ishak Institute is really delighted to host this 38th ASEAN Roundtable, which is organized, as I think our MC has mentioned, entirely in a physical format for the first time since the pandemic. We are really honored and grateful to Dr. Kao Kim Hoon, Secretary General of ASEAN, for joining us today at this roundtable and also for agreeing to be our keynote speaker. I am also grateful to all our speakers and moderators many of whom have travelled here from across the region and also beyond, for generously taking time to come and share your valuable insights and to participate in what we believe will be an enriching discussion. Indeed, this is a timely opportunity to take stock of and to reflect upon the progress made in the recently concluded 43rd ASEAN Summit as well as the related meetings last month. I would also like to add my thanks uh, to the Conrad Adenau Stiftung, or CAS, for supporting this roundtable uh, this year again. Um, CAS has been giving ISIS uh, very, very long support over many decades, and especially in the promotion of uh, research into the ASEAN as an organization and also uh, in the outreach of ASEAN-related activities. Let me also finally just thank all our participants for taking time out from your busy schedules to come here physically to join us. We didn't give you an option, but then I think this is a, a good thing for, for both of us that we can discuss face-to-face. -face. This year's roundtable theme, ASEAN in a fragmented global order, we'll look into the different dimensions of ASEAN's relevance in shaping the future of Southeast Asia and navigating the global order which is at risk of fragmentation. The geopolitical landscape is in flux with major powers rolling out their own initiatives and approaches towards the region, be it the Quad, AUKUS, the Global Security Initiative, or a variety of Indo-Pacific strategies, each of which will have its own implications on ASEAN's central role in the regional security architecture. Regional flashpoints, such as the territorial disputes in the South China Sea, the potential outbreak of hostilities in the Taiwan Strait, the situation in the Korean Peninsula, and also the ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis will continue to be sources of uncertainty. Within the grouping itself, the question of Myanmar remains a key challenge to ASEAN's resolve and effectiveness as an organization in dealing with regional challenges in a cohesive manner. On the economic front, Rising geopolitical tensions have also affected the global and regional economy. While Southeast Asia is still recovering from the pandemic, it is also facing other economic headwinds, such as widespread financial tightening due to rising interest rates and inflation due to high global energy and food prices. Furthermore, the emerging trends of protectionism, industrial policy, and export restrictions are putting stress on the rules-based multilateral trading system. In this context, it is critical for ASEAN to continue to play an influential role as the regional champion and bulwark of open rules-based multilateral system. One concrete step could perhaps be the effective implementation of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership agreement, the RCEP agreement, which can play a key role in supporting regional post-pandemic recovery, strengthen the regional supply chain, and also support ASEAN's agenda of economic integration. 
the recent launch of the negotiations on the ASEAN Digital Economy Framework Agreement, or DFA, the world's first regional digital economic agreement, is another major milestone and also one of the major, uh, shall we say, the most remarkable achievements of ASEAN this year, as uh, Secretary, Secretary General Dr. Kao himself had underscored uh, in August this year. It is also a testament to ASEAN's long-term commitment to embracing digital transformation in order to propel ASEAN businesses towards a bigger frontier and to unlock an era of borderless growth. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, let me now uh, introduce our keynote speaker, um, and then after, shortly after that, I will invite him uh, to take over the podium. Dr. Kao Kim Hoon, who took office as the 15th Secretary General of ASEAN in January 2023, has served as a two-term minister delegate attached to the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia since September 2013. Prior to that, he had held senior positions in the Royal Government of Cambodia, including the post of Secretary of State of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. A diplomat scholar, Dr. Kao is well known in think tank and academic circles, having founded the University of Cambodia and also two think tanks in his home country. Dr. Kao played an instrumental role in, ASEAN's, uh, in Cambodia's ASEAN uh, membership back in 1999. We cannot uh, really think of anyone who is a more qualified person to be Cambodia's first Secretary General of the regional grouping. With his years of experience engaging with ASEAN, we look forward to hearing Dr. Kao Kim Hoon's deep insight into the key challenges facing ASEAN and its role and relevance in a rapidly changing global order as well as an increasingly turbulent world. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Kao Kim Hoon here to the podium. Thank you. 